But first, a group of friends searching for a missing man say they found his body this morning near Judson Road in I-35. Yeah, the Live Oak Police Department considered him a person of interest in connection to the death of a woman found there weeks ago in the same area. The 19's Alyssa Cole explains why friends and family are unhappy with the police department's investigation. And they kept on saying that either it was tr garbage, garbage yeah. or a dead animal. No, that's my brother-in-law laying in the there. Angelique Hammond is the sister-in-law of missing man, 52-year-old Keith Hammond. She says Live Oak Police insisted a strong stench coming out of this tunnel was not what she thought it was. We have been on the, co on the phone with the police every, if not every day, every other day, begging begging for something. The family of Hammond says they knew his body was in one of these tunnels outside of Methodist Hospital Northeast. But after pleading with police, friends and family took it upon themselves to search for his body and they claim they found it within minutes. You can still walk down and his body's laying there just badly decomposed, but He's, you know, know no, nobody him. took any effort to actually to look down there. The medical examiner's office has still not confirmed that the body is Hammond's, but the group says they recognize his boots. Family and friends say Hammond was last seen with his girlfriend, 50-year-old Laura Brasino, on September 13th. Brasino's body was found just days after the fact, but not Hammond's. They say police dropped the ball on this investigation. You didn't do your job. Yep. that we pay you to do. I can tell you we have been out here at least two or three more times checking the area. Uh, obviously, we did not find the person. Live Oak Assistant Police Chief Matt Malone says their work isn't done. We're here with this today, so we're trying to piece this all together. Yeah, Assistant Chief Malone says they're still looking into the cause of this death, and we want to reiterate the medical examiner's office did not confirm this body as Hammond. We will be checking in with them tomorrow. Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News.